Okay, so I'm going to read a couple of verses from the book of Enoch, chapter 1. It has to do with these end times. Most of us know we're living in the days of Noah. Back then, fallen angels fell. Now, this time around, other angels have fallen and have risen, perhaps, from what I've seen. They have fallen. They came here to help. Now they're back up. Who knows what they got going on. But basically, the first chapter of the book of Enoch opens up like this. It says, The words of the blessing of Enoch were where he blessed the elect and righteous who will be living in the day of tribulation when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. That includes angels and souls, okay? No one's except. <clears throat> and he took up a parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man. Um, he might be in angelic form nowadays, but he was a man back in the day. He was a righteous man whose eyes were opened by God. He saw the vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angels showed him. And from them, he heard everything. And from them, he understood as he saw. But not for his generation, but it was for a remote one, which is for to come. I guess our generation concerning the elect, we the elect or some of us. He said, and took up a parable concerning some of the elect in these end times, the Holy Great One, the Great One will come forth from His dwelling, and the Eternal God will thread upon earth, even on Mount Sinai, and appear from His camp, and appear in the strength of His might from the heaven of heavens, and all shall be smitten with fear, and the watchers shall quake. So all these watchers, all these... uh. Angels, these archons, I guess, will quake with great fear and trembling shall seize them unto the ends of the earth. And the high mountains shall be shaken and the high hills shall be made low and shall melt like wax before the flame. And the earth shall be wholly rent asunder and all that is upon the earth shall perish and there shall be a judgment upon all. But with the righteous, with the righteous, those that are righteous, he will make peace. He will protect the elect, and mercy shall be upon them. This is what it says. And they shall all belong to God, and they shall be prospered. And they shall all be blessed. And he will help them all. And light shall appear unto them, and he will make peace with them. Behold, he cometh with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all, and to destroy all the ungodly, those that worship other gods. Like these Gentiles, Archons, and these uh, Darksiders. He will convict also all flesh of the works of their ungodliness, which they have ungodly committed, and all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. So there you have it. I just read to you nine verses, nine, ten verses of chapter one of the book of Enoch. So basically, the, uh, there's watchers in these end times. Uh, before you had different ones, you could read about it in the book of Enoch. You had different watchers that fell. Uh, this time around, you had other watchers that fell, like some of the more well-known ones uh, openly admitted that they have fallen and they didn't love God as much as they used to, like Michael being one of them. Um, who knows, he might be restored nowadays, you know. Maybe he did manage to get forgiveness, uh, but... That's kind of, you know, off balance if you consider that some of the watchers from back in the day didn't get so lucky. They got flooded and stuff. They got in trouble and whatnot. And uh, this individual, I guess, probably fell too and did some of those things, but he was exempt from judgment. I don't know. You be the judge. Does that seem fair? I don't know. Maybe uh, he can't hack it being in uh, human form as well as some of the others that fell back in the day, during the days of Noah, uh, Yared and Enoch. Anyways, so yes, you have some of them that have fallen. Um, some say we're fallen angels, okay? But I don't know. I get the sense that they're trying to blame humans instead of the ones above taking responsibility. So we'll see what happens. Um yeah, anyways, if you're walking in righteousness, you should be okay, you know. They can, they can only keep repeating this process over and over again for so long before, you know, 
things just get uh, exposed and rebalanced. Anyways, so yeah, you got watches here in these end times. Um, I don't know how many. I know some are getting more or less of a free pass, somewhat of a free pass, because they're weak, man. They're weak. A lot of them can't hack and come into the flesh, you know. That's why they, they, the, the, the least they're willing to do is just have like a flesh that could move around, could kind of move around a little bit here on the earth from one place to another, um, disappear, teleport, that type of stuff, but not grow wings. I'm guessing some of them have been restored. They've probably given their supernatural powers back to do who knows what, but yeah, a lot of them just can't operate at a greater capacity like some of us in flesh and blood form. Anyways, so yeah, they're down here, days of Noah. Um, that's why so, some of these uh, archons themselves have said, you know, build an ark within you, the kingdom within you. Start getting cleaned up and stuff because if something goes wrong, you know, they want to make sure that they're ready to go and they take some up with them. Um, but you got to consider, uh, you know, how many innocent souls are still down here and stuff like that. I don't know. Only they keep tabs. But there's so much uh, manipulation, deception on the higher levels that one has to wonder if what they're telling us is true. So I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you that, that, yeah, we're living as in the days of Noah. Back then, other angels have fallen. Now, other angels have fallen, okay? And, yeah, it seems like they're trying to blame probably some of the angels of the past instead of themselves taking responsibility for all the BS they've been involved with um, for a long time now. So we'll see what happens, man. Uh, I know they're messing with technology and doing all kinds of things. Uh, maybe to try to erase some of the things that they've done. I don't know. But we'll see. All right, anyways, that's all I got for this video. It's always nothing but love. Continue in the faith, okay? Walk in the spirit, not fulfilling the desires of the flesh. Um, and have the right B attitudes, all right? So with that being said, I'm out. Peace.